the honor of being with you pretty much from the beginning, almost the beginning, That's when right. it was really just bodies as a work of art, and now it's living art America, mm -hmm. bodies as a work of art. So going into year number four, which is so tremendous for you guys, makes me want to think, makes me want to ask, what was going through your head year number one in the weeks leading up to the event? Because you've grown leaps and bounds. Oh yeah. Um, the first year, we um, faced a lot of challenges. Number one, it was the first year that we were aware that anybody was doing this sort of thing, and we did it in honor of Paul because we were going back through some archives Paul trying Chalco. to Paul Chalco. We were going back through some archives trying to figure out how on earth to do a fundraiser that wasn't depressing and that was completely out of the box. And as I looked through all of his old things, well, about this much of them, um, I found pictures of, of body painted models that he had done for a party. And I knew that because I was at the party, but it had totally slipped my mind over the years. I thought, hmm, this could be interesting. We'll just body paint some people and have a party. And so that's how it started. And then it just kind of evolved. And we thought, well, let's make it a competition. If this is about art, this is an opportunity for people to show their work who might otherwise not have the chance. Yeah. So going into it, all I could think about is, is this going to work? Is this going to be OK? Are people going to like this? And then we faced challenge number two, which was we had it at a strip club. <laughs> and yeah. empowering women yeah. at the strip club was like, are you kidding me? I'm not going there. And uh, in the end, we sold it out. Even though body painting happens around the world, mm -hmm. it's a really big deal now here in the US yes. because of your event. That's so, I mean, tell We're committed me, to making it that what way. What does it mean to be a world sanctioned event? Well, it, it, what happens with, when you have the sanctioning of the world? You, number one, get the best artists in the world who come and compete. And we have artists from 10 countries, so that's ten. pretty, but 10. Oh. I know, it's good. Um, that includes some of our judges as well. But um, we also have, as one of our judges, the creator of the World Body Painting Association. Really? We brought him in because we really wanted him to see our commitment to making this the U.S. Body Painting Championships, which it will be next year. Um, but to be sanctioned by the world, you have rules that you have to follow. You have, you know, there, there are all kinds of things that make it, um, it has to be the same everywhere or it doesn't work. I think it's very important that we discuss the Chalco Foundation and its mission and how Living Art America relates to all of this. Right. Well, the, the Choco Foundation's mission is to empower women through art, education, and partnership. So this is a big part of our art empowerment. Um, in this, at this event alone, we'll give over $12,000 in artist grants. You are uh, really living what you preach. Well, thank you. I'm super supported by our board and by the people that are committed to us. I mean, it just, it couldn't happen without everyone. That is that, that community is what makes things really work. Thank you. Thank you.